From casting and direction to props and wardrobe, every little piece involved in a major motion picture becomes gilded in history until the end of time. But although the hours of footage passes by a thousand professionally trained eyes, sometimes a wardrobe malfunction skips all of the sensors and lands in the final cut. Whether no one noticed or the picture was already locked, these blockbusters hit the big screen with wardrobe pieces that were way out of place. Too bold for the background. Steven Spielberg's Raiders of the Lost Ark keenly depicts Egypt in the mid-1930s. Who knows? In a thousand years, even you may be worth something. <laughs> but between the earth-toned trinkets and the intricate tapestries that line the city markets, one guy totally blows the magic of cinema. Just behind Harrison Ford's Indiana Jones, you'll spot a guy wearing blue jeans and a t-shirt, casually passing by. A misplaced crew member or a time-traveling adventurer? You decide. Undies from the future. Russell Crowe takes the lead in Ridley Scott's Gladiator as a general bent on vengeance following the murder of his family. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius, commander of the armies of the North, general of the Felix Legions, loyal servant to the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius. But what ripped some viewers out of the moment, however, was the wardrobe malfunction in the middle of a fight scene, where Crowe's Lycra shorts made a guest appearance from under his tunic which, we suppose, is better than nothing. What time period is it? Starring industry heavyweights and helmed by Academy Award-winning filmmaker Edward Zwick, Glory earned well-deserved accolades when it debuted in 1989. If tomorrow we have to meet the judgment day, uh, Heavenly Father, we want you to let our folks know uh, that we died facing the enemy. Critics lauded the American Civil War-set film for its breathtaking cinematography and enormous attention to period detail, praise which comes off as a bit ironic today considering the wardrobe piece that made it to the theatrical cut. We're pretty sure that digital time-telling technology wouldn't have been around in 19th century America. But that wasn't the only time a timepiece stole the scene. A Rolex out of time. Bear with us because this one is really nerdy. With its pitch-perfect soundtrack, superb costume design, and fine-tuned set design, David O. Russell's American Hustle provides an excellent snapshot of the sights and sounds of the 70s. The main cast seems to have walked straight out of the disco-crazed decade, and so does supporting actor Louis C.K., except for one detail. The Rolex CK's character wears may look super fancy, but it isn't era appropriate. It's a GMT Master II Rolex with a ceramic bezel, first made around 2010. You know, we'll finish the ice story another time, young man. The erroneous earpiece. Captain America, the first Avenger launched star Chris Evans further into superstardom and stands as one of the most well-loved Marvel movies in history. How'd you feel? But in the midst of all the pulpy action and pleasantly retro vibe that the critics applauded, there's a historical slip-up that surprisingly made it into the film. Right before Cap and his crew raid a Hydra train, Kenneth Choi's character is shown wearing an unusually high-tech earpiece, which definitely didn't exist during World War II. A little too much skin. Even if you've never seen Closer, you've certainly seen Natalie Portman's character, the exotic dancer from America who arrives in London and falls for Jude Law's character. Would you like me to stop being cheeky? In the final cut, she only flaunts a little skin. But thanks to a wardrobe malfunction, a lot more is shown. While talking to Clive Owen, Portman's bra slips into not suitable for work territory. Needless to say, it ended up in the movie anyway. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.